for coming for coming back to this channel remember like it's best for the next creation malcolm x tv and at endless inspiration what is security job like or what is security like in the government yes most of you have been asking me a lot of questions regarding security and how security are like for example the newcomers coming to the country yes when we come to this country something that definitely i have to let you know is what you call the expectations versus what you call the reality yes depending on where you are going to or depending on where you are going to work we have different scenarios and we have different employers and we have different companies that you're going to work with or where you are going to work with depending on which company has recruited you coming from your country then when you look at security Yes, it's a normal security. No security of where you're going to have or you're going to possess a gun like in our countries or in your country where you came from. No, it's a normal security of what you call the customer care security. It's all about the customer care security and knowing how to use some of the equipment, the response, how do you definitely deal with the customers or deal with the clients or deal with the different people using what you call the customer language but in what we call a security way or in what we call a security manner. Limb fringing, do not, you are not allowed, but you have no right of even touching someone or in that kind of position in one way or the other. You don't even have the right to arrest someone. You cannot arrest. It's only about, it's not all, it's all about reporting, observe and report. That is what we call the security or the kind of security that we have in the Gulf countries. Then something that comes with what you call how much money do I have to earn? Where or how much money do I have? Yes, most of the time the money that you're going to earn, depending on which kind of company, it will depend which company recruited you. What is your role? What have you been recruited for as a security guard or as a CCTV operator or which kind of role and what is your contract saying? So what is written in your contract or what is being written in your contract is what is going to give you a salary. It's because you have agreed to that amount of money that you're going to receive or you have agreed to what you are supposed to, to have in that range and that is your money. And depending on which kind of role or if there are extra responsibilities in that country, company that are being given to you, then it means that you will be added on more amount of money. When we look at working hours most of the security companies i think they are working as for what you call 12 hours but depending on which kind of project that you may be working for if it's a good project and you're being deployed there as someone who's very good you'll end up working for eight hours but remember your pay for eight hours and for the guard that is working 12 hours within the same company it's going to it's not going to be the same it is just on you to adhere to what is given off and also sometimes your pay is going to depend on what is written in your contract. Do you have a day off every week or do you have a day or two days off, paid two days off in every month? So all those kind of scenarios, we get to look at them. It's going to determine or it's going to, to, to let you understand what exactly what you are entitled to in one way or the other. Yes, accommodation. It is a shared accommodation. I keep on telling you. There's no way they are going to give you a private suit. Like we have the expectations or what you call the expectations when they are coming here. We are being received by agents that we are going to sleep two people, you're going to sleep one people, you're going to sleep like a president, you're going to sleep in a presidential shoes. No, it's, it's, it's never that kind of way. You have to live in what you call a shared accommodation. Meaning that in the, that shared accommodation, when we are talking about that shared accommodation, definitely what you need to understand is that there are going to be a cross multi cultures that you are going to share with and those cultures and we are looking at people or converting of people coming from different countries from Japan, from Bangladesh, from Kenya, from India, from um, uh, uh, Guinea, coming from Ghana, coming. so we have different converting of different cultures. It's all intolerance and perseverance and knowing what exactly you as a person want or what is the reason why you came to that particular job and definitely you leave the rest a part of you to achieve what you want in one way or the other. So meaning that, don't think that you, your expectation, your reality of it all of life is going to be quite away from the kind of pride that you have, but for you to perform, 
what you're being recruited for and to achieve and to make sure that you achieve all values. Make sure that you chase your dreams or even you chase your targets. There are very many security companies. There are very many cleaning companies. And each cleaning company or each security company has its own operating procedure and has its own rules and regulations that govern that different company. So where you are going to, where you go to, is you have to adhere to that. Most of the time, the money that you sign for is the money that you will get. And what you sign for is that. Unless there's an extra that is being given, and that company will let you know that they are giving you an extra for this, will give you this and give you this. But most of the people, people get off in the first six months before even finish up. Remember, some of these employers have put money in your ticket and your visa money to come. So when you turn to this, this, this disappoint them before even you finish up, the contract before even you finish up the two years then it will be very hard most of them do do not want such kind of scenario they would want you to go back home. hope i've tried to share